I looked at y'all's check the knowledges and there's quite a few of y'all that still need to work on your check your knowledge and do your check your knowledge. And I was thinking, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this and I would like y'all to uh, work, on, work on that as well today. Uh, but, um, you know, I, we're gonna stay online today. Um, and uh, just kind of kind of knock this all this out because I, I really need y'all to do your check your knowledges and do uh, do a few other things. I'm going to show you a couple of y'all have not. Uh, hold on. All right. Um, let me pull up a grade so I can show y'all. Good morning. Hold on one second. Let me show y'all. All right, I'm gonna share uh, a screen. It's the grades, you don't really see like actual like final grades and all of that. So, but I, I'm doing this just so you can kind of. Hey, Chef. Okay, I don't, do y'all see where it says menu psychology? Uh, menu and pricing and costing and supplies. Do you see how, it, if you do it, right, you get a 10, right? You, you go through the, the little modules, but do you see how many blanks there are like for serving, you know, serving in menu? I'm gonna just click on that and it is, oh wait. So what's that on? Um, so hold on one second. These are the knowledge checks, right? Um, those are not knowledge checks. Those are, let, let me show you. Um, these are just the, uh, like these things like that are right here are usually on week two. Or, uh, Excuse me, Chef. Yes. Oh, so those count for grade as well? Yes, the like this menu psychology, uh, all of these things. Like I, I said that on day one, you know, kind of like you've got to click on everything. If you don't, because it 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 is like a, a check grade, right? And it's something that I can't can't do. Uh, I can't uh, change. It's just like this menu psychology. If you click on that and you hit next and you go through these modules, you have to answer, uh, you know, these questions, um, you know, and, and you just kind of go through this section and uh, what, what is this? Uh, dishes described should be, what, what should they be described or how should they be described? Uh, do y'all see in my sharing right here? What do you think? Only be used. Uh, what do y'all think? What would what, what? What do you think the answer is for this? Anybody? Did I lose y'all? Uh, it should be short but vivid. All right, let's see. There you go. Correct. So you hit continue and next. And um, hit next. Hey, Chef. I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I have another question. Um, yes. I tried to go back to, to the week one solid check, and they said they were closed down. Would there be a day where you open all of them all together so we can I go thought, back? I thought that I thought they were all open. I will I will look right now, but 
does everybody understand you need to do, you know, go and click everything and go through everything on week one, like any of these little modules, I would click on it and then, you know, go through everything. Um, because if you don't click on it and go through all of those things, it's going to show a zero, right? It, you know, and, and it just, it's kind of what I call clickbait. You just got to click through it and then it, and then it immediately shows uh, a grade. And, and that's a grade that I can't put on. It, it's kind of connected to you. If y'all, you know, and that's why I say it's so important to click on everything, to go through every little section. Um, I will check the check your knowledge right now. I'm going to just while I'm here, but while I'm going to go through every check your knowledge right now, just to make sure that they're all open. All right, this one, January 13th. This should be open. It doesn't have a close date on it. Um, I would say if someone could look and make sure that week one, and that looks like it's open. Uh, resumes, yeah, that one's open. So week one is open, week two, week two is open. Yeah, total are both week one and week two are open. Um, week two. Yeah, but um, like on week three, this like your concept, creating your menu, uh, you know, th that is click, you got to click through it to assure yourself that and then you've got to hit click in lesson now do you see how it says congratulations uh you ended that lesson that is what you need to see you know return and let me go to back to what was that week three hey, chef, um, for week one for the uh, uh shoot how do i know check your knowledge the food service career yeah, the check the hiring the hiring and training. It's it's not available. Okay. Yeah, you are right. I missed that one. Thank you. Sure. Let me let me fix that right now. You might have to refresh it. Uh, your thing but now it's it should be open thank you i completely yes, sir, thank you no thank you um so does everybody understand what what those little things you need to do unfortunately um you know uh, when when you When, hold on, let me get to all of those. Like all of these, like the service and menu, updating menu, like this updating menu, no one has done that updating menu. And I don't know, uh, I'm gonna have to look look at it, but you know, you also have menu That's analysis. because it's not open yet. They have certain uh, dates that it opens. Okay, let me make sure that uh, well, let me click on it and make sure. Well, then I want to make sure that it it is correct. Yes, uh, week five costs uh, cost and margin say it'll open to the eighth. 
All right, hold on. Well, then let me get over there and uh, and that's kind of. All right, let me fix that. Where was that at? Oh, cost of margins. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I swear it feels like it changes on me. All right. Uh, I would say while we're here, if everybody can just start clicking on all of these, you know, start on week one and kind of go through and make sure that you've clicked on everything. Um, and then if there is a problem, we can fix it right now. Would y'all, can y'all do that? Are y'all okay with doing that? Yes. Yes, Chef. All right. So then I, I'm going to, then what I'm going to do is I'll just kind of, I'll just be here and every, and, and we'll just kind of work on that for, for like 30 minutes. Is that, is that cool? So everybody, because I, I just want to make sure that what happens is if you don't do that, your grade looks good until the end of the block. And then those dashes, where those dashes are, where there is no grade, at the end of the block, those dashes turn to zeros and it completely changes your grade. And what happens is, is people think and they, they look at their grade and it's kind of what I would call inflated because, you know, you haven't completed everything, but once the class ends, then that's when those dashes turn to zero. So it, it kind of could screw you over if you're not, if you don't watch out on that. So that, that's why I feel like it's so important for y'all to go and click on everything. And, and then you and I are, we can, we can just talk about it right now, or I can fix it right now. Um, you know, if we want to do that, but and if you have any questions with some of the answers, you can ask, ask the whole group what, what's the question and we can answer it. I just want everybody to get a good grade in this class and I don't want anybody to, to accidentally screw themselves over for not understanding it. Does that, and is everybody cool with just kind of doing it for until around eight o'clock? Is that cool? Yes, Chef. All right, cool. All right. Well, I will see if I can put on a little cooking show or something. What I can do. Is the British Baking Show okay to watch while y'all are working? Yeah. I love it. What's it mean? It's cake week. <sighs> so excited. We're at. Is this, is this going to be a, too annoying for y'all uh, to have a show going? No. Okay. Hopefully, by everybody else's silence, that means they're okay with it. 
Can you see it now? I can't see it anywhere. A big white tent, 12 new bakers. Sorry, Sue, you did say white tent, didn't you? Where are they, Prue? They're there. The lid. Maybe we should have got a mini cab. Mm. This is probably one of my favorite shows my just a lot. I love the this British show. I've got to show. thank for all this. <laughs> my mum said, I'm already a winner. It's such a mum thing to say. When I saw the tent, my heart rate went through the roof. It's like my wedding day all over again, except my wife is not here. Going to be baking in the tent. It's got so much history. Are you sure I'm not asleep? Are you sure it's happening? I'm ready to go. Twelve new bakers. My children said, don't get sent home first. If I do, I'm not allowed home. 30 brand new challenges set by Paul Hollywood and our new judge, Prue Leith. This year is gonna I will try to work on the discussion, uh, week three discussions. For some reason it's not opening. Um, but um i will try it and um actually let me look real quick because someone was asking about our we were talking about the final exam let me make sure that the final exam now opens up and has questions to be very special. The bakers may think they know what I want, but when it comes to Prue, they have absolutely no idea. Prue's got 50 years experience in the business. She'll know what she wants. I'll be firm, but fair, because I want the bakers to do their very best. Baking is such a treat that it has to be the very best, and it has to be worth the calories. I am always getting frustrated with myself. I cannot tell you the amount of cakes I've thrown away, biscuits I've thrown away. Technical bakes may unstitch me. We'll see. In 2017, who will win? I just want to get on with it now and um, burn that first cake. <laughs> Park in Berkshire. Right, so I've got a list of what we have to do. First, set up theme of the week. I was thinking a semaine of Genoise, creme, patissier, fraisier, gâteau. Oh, I love it. What's it mean? It's cake week. <gasps> so excited. We're actually going to walk into the tent for the first time. I know, I'm a little bit nervous. I, I don't really do camping. Yeah, I don't think we have to sleep in there. Oh, OK. Over the next two days, the bakers will face three challenges after which one of them will be named our first star baker and another will be asked to leave the tent. Hello, bakers, and welcome to the fabulous tent. Let's get baking with your very first signature challenge. The judges would love you to make a family-sized fruity cake. Now, the choice of sponge, and indeed fruit, is entirely up to you, but it must be fresh fruit, no dried fruit allowed. Basically, what we're saying is if it was a fruit party, sultanas would not be on the guest list. You have two hours to make your fruity cake. Do you want to do it? Shall we do it together? On, On your marks, marks get, get set, set bake. The reason why the fruity cake challenge is such a great signature to start off the series with is because it really tests the baker's knowledge of baking in its purest form. How much moisture is that fruit going to release? What that does is make the inside of the cake quite soggy. So what's difficult to judge is when it's baked properly. When you stick a skewer in to see if the cake is done, the skewer may well come out wet because it's hit a piece of fresh fruit and you will be fooled into thinking the cake isn't done. It's not a very easy start. Morning, how are you Hi doing? James. Good to see you. Tell us what you're doing. So I'm making a rhubarb, orange and ginger cake. Ooh.
So my dad is the magpie of rhubarb. Every time I go up the allotment, it's nicked someone else's chunk of rhubarb and it keeps growing. So he's To the rest stuffed. of the allotment. Now, I've just opened up the final exam. So in, I set it up so where it can be multiple attempts uh, and the highest grade you will get. So uh, whatever highest grade, and it is open as well. So if you would like to uh, knock that out, you know, and the, the more you can knock out right now, the better, because I, you, you got, you got this whole, re, you know, the rest of the class to help you, you know, answer some of those questions or whatever else. Again, I'm not here to, to trick you or trip you up. We're, we're just trying to get it from short-term memory to long-term memory. And once that happens, you're golden. So, um, you know, it, let's use this time uh, to, to knock out a lot of that extra work. Um, and you got extra brains here. And someone wrote, uh, week five discussions does not let you submit answers. Okay, I will work on that while, um, uh, while, I'm, while we're doing this. Let me, oops, I don't want to. Know yes. that, James. Uh, don't tell uh, they no, do no, now. No, 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 no. <laughs> Married dad of two, James is a finance manager from Brentwood in Essex. He's been baking and gardening with his dad, Brian, since he was five. Put you back into it. Anyone think you're getting old? His signature fruity cake has a whopping 600 grams of rhubarb in the sponge. How are you cooking the rhubarb? It's all going to be mixed in raw. It'll cook for about an hour, so it should soften up nicely. It should be a little squashy. Yeah, it does get. Can, can someone go to week five uh, discussion and try, uh, try it now and see if it opens up? It still wasn't working for me. I, ju I just, just did it. Could you refresh and, and try it? Yeah, one second. Thank you. And, if, and it might still not, I don't know. But. The week three also wasn't opening up for me. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna work on that next. It's still not open for week five. Okay, thank you. I'll keep working on it. Hey, Sharon, sure, week five is open um, on mine. I can see it like, right there. Okay, week five is the discussion. Yes, sir. All right.
you might need to log in and log out again or refresh your uh, uh, because it, it might not. Or it says due date to post. And if someone else is having problems with week five opening, uh, I'll try to, I'll look at it in just a second. Let me, I'm going to go to week three and see. I refreshed my page and logged out and logged and back in not, in week five, still not open for me. Okay. All right, I'll work on it. Thank you. Now, could someone try uh, try it now? Week five. Oh yeah, it looks different now. I think we can do it. I'm in now as well, Chef. Heard that. It showed up for me. All right. Now let me work on week three. And if someone could look at week three at some point, uh, discussion and make sure that that is open as well. Yes, it's open now. All right. Just need to write down what I did so I can remember it for the next time if that happens. Mm -hmm. 
Jeff? Yes. The uh, last two links in week four, the menu pricing and um, menu analysis, it actually says that um, those don't open up until next Monday. Menu uh, analysis and the, uh, the last two? All right, let me click on that. Not the knowledge check, the, the other link. Okay, hold like on. the last two weeks. Okay, let me get back to week four. Hold on. Uh, oh, this menu analysis in the menu, right here? In the menu analysis. This one right here? Yeah, uh, and then the updating your menu. Okay. The one above it too. You said what what week is it? I'm sorry, it always defaults uh, back to this week. What was that week three or week four? This week what four. Was it? All right, thank you. Could you try um, updating your menu and see if that opens up for you in week four?
this house has its closed until next Monday. Could you mind uh, taking a picture of what it shows and, and sending it to me, like a uh, text message? Do you have yes. my phone number? No, I don't. Okay, it's, I'll, I'll type it in the, uh, the chat. Okay, thank you, Chef. Thank you. I just want to be able to see what it's saying. Oh, here we go. All right. I think maybe I can do this. Victoria, could you try it again? Yes, Chef, I can try it again. Uh, let's try the menu analysis for me.
It's open, Jeff. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to just, I have to do it individually. So it'll take me a few minutes, but I will do the other one as well. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, I think I've gotten everybody for the menu analysis. And now I'm gonna work on the... Uh, um, what was it? Menu, updating your menu.
I, I think that one is open as well. Or uh, that one should be open for everybody. It's open, Jack. Awesome. That's great. And if there's any other ones that are closed, please let me know. I don't know if y'all need to, I mean, since it's we're doing independent stuff right now, do y'all still need, y'all want a break? Y'all want a 10 minute break? Or do y'all want to just keep going? It doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run downstairs and grab a drink real quick. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Just give me a couple minutes. Be right back. All right, Jeff. I'm back.
y'all need, are y'all still kind of working on it all? Uh, I can give another like, give a little more time. Would y'all like more time to do it? Hey, Chef. Yes. Um, I did my week three and week five discussion on a Word document. Do you want me to do it on the portal? Yeah, since I opened it up, you, could you like uh, just copy it and paste it uh, to the portal? Yes. J just so it'll, because I, since everybody's, since I opened it up, all the grades are going to be there, if you don't mind. Or you know what, you don't, you know what, since, because you, you sent it to me already, right? Yes, I sent it yesterday. Okay, then, then yeah, so why don't you just, you don't need to, you can just type in in that discussion. I sent it to you already, and I think that should that should you could be able to submit that, and then so you don't have to worry about it. Just type in I sent it to you already, you know, in the discussion, and then that'll be fine. And while uh, while you're there, or while you're doing y'all's kind of finishing up your stuff, um, I'm going to show y'all. There is a survey, um, end of course survey. I don't know if you can see. I'm sharing my screen, but where my little cursor is right here it says end of the course survey. Um, if you fill that out and you um, show me or, you know, you can email me or um, text message me the, the, after you complete it, it says you complete, you know, I completed the survey or whatever else. Um, uh, we give our Chef Robin says, you know, just for incentive to get people to fill out the survey, uh, you get five uh, extra credit points if you, if you, show me that you finished the survey and it, it says you know uh, it was a little thing that says you finished the you completed the survey or what whatever else so if you show me that uh email me if you email it to or text me uh that's fine uh either one uh but then i can just i'll give you uh five extra uh credit points so uh that could be something like that. Sir? Uh, yeah, and what about um, when we watch the recordings and send you the email that we watch them? When, I, when will those, when will those grades be inputted? Um, you know what? I, I, I will take care of it right now. I've got, a, I've got them sitting right here. I, I just haven't plugged them in. So I will do that right now while we're working yes, on sir. it. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for doing all those days. I appreciate it.
we'll, we'll go until around 8.30 and then I'll, I'll kind of lecture a little bit and then we'll be done. But I'll let you go until like around 8.30, I'm working on your stuff. Heard Jeff. Cool, cool. I'm just glad y'all are getting it done because I hate to, I hate it when people fail. All right. So that's
and guys also i would say um check check your like your grade check it if you're if you sent me a day that like 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 i'm changing now like if you sent me a day that you watch the video and that grade has not been changed let me know i i will work on that uh as well because i i could have easily forgotten to put it in or whatever else so just make sure you you know you do your due diligence and check check the grades as well okay I, all your grades should be uh, now showing um, the revised grade for you.
And let me make sure week six, uh, check your knowledges are open yet. Oh, when I didn't check yet. All right, week six looks like it's open. And the final exam, the final exam for this, um, you can, I, I set it up to where it's multiple attempts and you get the highest grade, whatever the highest grade is. So, and that should be open as well. Um, and, um, once you and and make sure if you do the survey, um, uh, I would say uh, just send me the little kind of risk that it's a little thing that says you completed the survey. Uh, once you if you send a picture of it uh, to my cell phone or to email, uh, I will give you five extra credit points. Just don't send it in, in the chat just because I, if I don't write it down or if I, I, I want to make sure I have a copy of it because once I, in the chat, I don't have a digital copy other than the video.
Did we have a day off the six weeks? Like, or did we, are we going, I'm trying to remember if we go until Friday or if I think we do go till Friday. This week? What? Yeah. Or next week. I, I think we had a day off like uh, in the six weeks, right? We did have a holiday, Chef. Okay. Yeah. So, so, we, so we go until Friday. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I was working Monday sometimes I forget so we'll we'll go up until Friday Friday will be our last day because if we have a day off we go to Friday if we don't have a day off we go until Thursday but anyway
Do y'all want to just work on this for the next 30 minutes and, and, you know, we could just be doing, doing all of this or y'all are still working on it. I just don't know where y'all are uh, on, on it. Y'all have still, are y'all still doing stuff? Yes. Okay. Then, then I'll just, Gonna let y'all work on on this, uh, and then uh, you know, at nine o'clock I'll we'll sit and talk. But you know. Good morning. So what we're doing is you're working on anything that has to do with check your knowledge. Um, you, you've got a lot of check your knowledges uh, that needs to get done. And uh, some of the modules that you haven't done either. So uh, that's kind of what we're working on this morning. Okay, thank you. And um, there, just make sure you go through all the modules uh, that are in in each week uh, because that that is so important. 
Yes, Chef. Thank you. And that's kind of what everybody's working on right now. Or name analysis.
I think I fixed that uh, for you for the menu analysis, but anybody else, just if you are having any problems with getting on to menu analysis or any of that sort of stuff, let me know. And I'll try it, see if it'll work for you, because I guess I put the wrong date. Let me make sure I, since I screwed up yours on that one, let me make sure, what is it? Week four, it was menu analysis and menu something. Updating menu. Let me make sure I had you. All right, I think that's everything's good. And remember, don't if you want five extra points, you your uh, you can get uh, extra credit points. Go to the end of the course survey and click on that and do the survey and just send me a copy of either send an email or text message me a, that little picture of saying that you completed the survey and um, i don't think it's open though chef because i don't oh, see it's not no oh okay well then i will try to figure out maybe it opens well it should open 
Or maybe it doesn't, does it show up? Maybe it doesn't show. I guess it doesn't even show up on y'all's, does it? I think it might show next week. Okay. All right. I thought it was two weeks. Uh, opens a week early before the end of the week. All right. Well, then I'll talk about it later then. And on Monday, we're going to pick what day you're going to kind of present your project. And we're going to kind of talk about your project to me and the class. And we'll kind of pick days for you to do that uh, just to let you know. All right, Jeff.
Labor cost for week six is not opening. Okay, hold on.
All right, I think now week six, uh, labor costs should open up for you. Um, please let me know if it does not. And someone asked where the survey is. I, I, I you can, it sh shows right here. I, I guess it just doesn't open until, ne until next week. So I, I'll talk about it and remind everybody next week about it. Um, so the survey, don't worry about, but um, someone wrote that uh, labor cost wasn't open for week six. So hopefully now labor cost is open for everybody for week six. Okay, it's open now, cool. Chef. Yes. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? You know the cost sheet that we did, right? Yes, sir. Are we changing that to an actual menu or are we just leaving it how it is? No, you're going to leave it the way it is and you're going to create a menu um, uh, with those, with the pricing and all of that sort of stuff. Does that make sense? So um, here, let me show you. I'm still sharing, all right, so let's see. Let me go to day 20. So on day 21, if you click on day 21, you'll see examples of menus right here. Um, I'm gonna just click on this and um, here's just an example of a menu. You just take your, you know, you have your costing, right? You costed it out and you have your uh, recipe call or your, your final cost. Then you're going to create a menu, right? Right, you know, fried mozzarella sticks. And then you're gonna write, um, you know, a description and then you're gonna put the price down. Uh, you can go to must have menus um, and I will post that website. Um, for you on the uh, on the chat, does that answer your question? Yeah, it it does. And, but um, question: uh, Some of the menu prices show pretty high, though. Um. Okay. Hold on one second. Um. Let me look at your. Did you email it to me? your costing sheet? Or did you share it with me? Uh, check on Destinies. On Destinies? Yeah, her cost sheet. Okay, hold on a second. Let me pull up, I'm just looking at You know, it's the whipped cream, um, like for the Black Forest cake that that's there. Oh, here. Because I don't think the heavy cream is going to cost 60 bucks. think Thank you. 
this. Hold on. I, I think that I think the uh, formula is wrong at the very bottom. Hold on. J. Oh, I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll share. Um, so J10, J10, that's J10 to J25. Oh, it's, it's the way you calculate the milk. So it should be 0. 0.22. J three K four J three G four J so that price divided by G four and this is G four that's thirty percent eight servings. I uh, see, and I don't know if, like, if you see, but do um, you see where it says butter right here? That's you're you're saying basically five pounds instead of five ounces of butter. So, uh, so ounces, I, 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 you need to go 0 0.05, I believe, and that will give you five ounces and that will give you a dollar 61 that brings it down sliced almonds you got four pounds so uh instead of four ounces uh there's that price brings it down um and then the all-purpose i gotta change all of them into ounces yeah 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 <laughs> that that's that's it But that that's kind of what Tre, Trevon. Oh, hold on. Yes, Trevon, hold, hold on. So if the prices seem a little high and excessive, I would look at the amounts, what, what you're, uh, how you're calculating it. I'm sorry, did you call my name? Yeah, uh, did you, were you, were you, uh, did you see kind of what, what I was talking about on? Yeah, I did. I, uh, is that kind of what you were, you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, so I would just kind of manipulate uh, the amounts because I mean, if, I mean, it, it, like, I think somebody had a chocolate chip recipe, chocolate chip cookie recipe, and it was like I don't know a thousand dollars or something, but it was um, it was because I they were buying uh, the 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 manipulate or when when you were plugging it in, it seemed like it was supposed to have a, a hundred pounds or fifty pounds of chocolate, and that's kind of why it was so expensive. So you just need to watch uh, when you plug it in if it looks kind of odd, uh, then I would just manipulate the pricing. A little bit, okay, or the amount, uh, or the uh, 
the size, how, how much you're getting, because that, that might throw it off. Because now this uh, feasting cake, you know, I mean, um, it cost you, you know, uh, only three dollars and two cents to make, and you're selling it for about ten oh ten ten dollars and seven cents. That, that's, you know, I mean, I'm cool with that. Uh, so, but what is that? What's that? $24. Oh yeah, so it's cost $24, but then you've got a, yeah. So the beasting uh, cake is now fine, I'm guessing.
And if you don't need to work on any of this, if you've gotten all this stuff, uh, all the, uh, you know, check your knowledge is in all of the modules and all of those things that uh, we were talking about. If you have all of that done, uh, you still need to be working on your menu and your costing sheet. Uh, that is what's going to be, uh, you're going to be presenting your menu and talking about uh, your restaurant. You're going to spend about May less than five, you know, five minutes. Everybody's going to get about five minutes, and I'm gonna. You need to. Uh, I'm gonna get you to share your screen, or I'll share my screen with your menu, and you're going to be uh, just talking about your menu, where your restaurants can be located, what what kind of uh, food is it, uh, and what what are the things on your menu and uh, maybe the reason why you pick this restaurant or any of that sort of stuff, um, just five minutes. Uh, the reason why we, I want you to um, present it is because you're going to eventually have to get up in front of employees, customers, whatever else, uh, and you're, you're gonna need to be able to uh, to be able to sit and talk to people and, and be able to uh, in front of your peers or teach someone something or, or whatever else. So, uh, um, you know, the, those are kind of the thing, that's what we're gonna be doing next week. And uh, it, uh, for the next couple of days, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna lecture, I'll lecture tomorrow or on Monday a little bit, uh, but the rest of the days are just sitting here all together working on your project, working on your, uh, and finishing up any of those modules. And, and, and th those modules are so important because it, it's a kind of a check grade, a grade that I can't do anything about other than if you finish that, it will populate and say, you finished it and it shows up and it puts a grade. Um, so, I, but, Unfortunately, if you don't do it, it those dashes that are there uh, at the end of when I close out the class, those those dashes or those things turn into zeros and it changes your grade immediately. So it, you kind of get a false reading of your grade because of all of the because it doesn't completely calculate all the zeros are all the things that you're missing until the end of the class. So um, those things are so important. Like three are, uh, are you know, you, you just need to, you know, just get those check your knowledges done and, and all of those things. <laughs> um, so just ma making sure you get that done, making sure you have your uh, menu Again, if you want to get examples, now some of them are, I mean, they're, they're students. Uh, they're, they're people that have done it. And, you know, I mean, and, you know, some of them are, are you know, good. Some of them are, are not so good. But again, remember when you are making this, put that, that the amount, whatever the price is, put it down kind of right beside the uh, description and don't make it bold. Don't have all the, the prices just kind of all in a line. Uh, so where, you know, like this, I can shop, I can shop for price. I, I you know, I can shop, okay, I went nine, 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 11, 11, instead of the customer shopping for what they want, they're shopping for the price. So make sure, uh, Oh, I'm not sharing that. I'm sorry. Really? I was thinking I was sharing. So here you go. Uh, so like this right here, this example, um, you know, the fried mozzarella sticks. I just wanna, I wanna make sure that the prices are kind of right beside the, uh, the description and the prices aren't bold or anything like that because if not, I can shop by price and instead of shop by what I really want. Um, 
you know, may, make sure you kind of uh, do that. Um, but, you know, must have menus ha has uh, so many different um, menus. I would, you need to create a login, it's free. Um, now, granted, I think for a, a, a paid, uh, even though that it is free, uh, it, it still leaves like a watermark, uh, kind of a, you know, kind of a, a thing saying must have menus from behind and unless you pay for their, uh, their service, that watermark will remove. I don't care about the watermark. I don't care about that. What I just care about is it, it's a, it sets up, it, it's a good, a good menu, uh, you know, uh, program. But uh, if you don't want to use that, there's many other menu programs out there that you can do. Uh, but again, um, oops. Making sure, and, and if you go on, uh, day 21, that is where all of those uh, menus uh, will live. So these down here, uh, they kind of download directly to your computer. Um, un unfortunately, it's not a, a, a dock or anything. So these will download. This one's a, a dock, uh, a web dock. But, um, You know, here is a, uh, in the, what this person wanted to do, they, they wanted to, to make it a little bit bigger, you know, and make it look like a bigger menu. So they, they added, you know, added some extra stuff to it or, you know, some things to, to make it look a little bit more. And, and that's totally fine as well. Um, but, uh, Here's another one. Now, uh, this one I didn't I, I didn't like it just because the color the the colors uh, the the blue uh, kind of was a little too too bright, especially when it came to to some of the word. I, it just kind of this overpowered everything else. So just watch out on on the amount of colors you put in there uh, if you see that. That that could be, uh, uh, you know, that that should help. Um, I mean, uh, that's just a little too too many colors, I would say. Uh, so just watch out on that. Um, are there any other questions or any, anything that y'all have? I I'm gonna be online. I I'm gonna just stay online. Um, you know, so if you want to get off, you, you class is kind of over or, you know, if you want to stay online and work on uh, on anything or get me to ask any questions, I'm going to I'm going to stay on here for at least about 15 more minutes. Uh, so, you know, by around nine, 940 or so, I'll log off. But, um, you know, I'm going to be here until around 940. So if you want to just stay, stick around, that's fine. If not, fine. But I, I'm going to just stay on. And if you have any questions, you can log back in uh, or what, whatever else. But uh, just make sure you um, get those, um, those modules done. And, and I, I just cannot stress it enough. Those modules, they... they are like this menu, uh, updating your menu, menu analysis, uh, service of the menu, service and the menu, those things you have to click on and go through everything uh, until it says it's complete or whatever else. Some of, them, some of them have little quizzes or a little answer, question answer thing. Some of them don't, but that is so important. All right, so please make sure you go through that. Uh, 
All right, so any questions? If you wanna stay here, you can. If you don't, that's fine. But I'm gonna be here until around, I, I would say probably 9.45 is probably when I'm gonna log off. Uh, so I'll be here until then. Um, and so I'm gonna leave my camera on and, and all of that, but I'm gonna just kind of be here. So if y'all need anything, please let me know. Heard that, Jeff. Cool, cool. Uh, Chef, I have an, uh, just a question regarding the costing. Um, when I was working on costing, I noticed that a couple items were not on item one of the master ingredient list yes. that, would either, that were either on the separate sheet or in the uh, spreadsheet that was on uh, Google Sheets. So what I wanted to see is that would it be okay to uh, use a reference, like for example, like try to get uh, a pricing for a certain product from a supermarket or from a uh, from a Costco type location. Yeah, you you could get it any any you can just look it up at any uh, like on H uh, HEB Costco. Yeah, you you can just if there is not something listed on there, you can just find find a a price and just use that. I'm totally fine with that. Also, my second question regarding the menu itself. Um, yes. You were asking about, you know, like where we, where we want to have, what well, would be the location of our restaurant and everything. And my intention is to actually have my lo my location out of the country. It would be in, uh, it would be back in Mexico. I mean, I uh -huh. would like to put pricing in both U.S. dollars and local currency if that would be acceptable. Yeah, totally, totally. I would love that. Okay, well, those were just my two questions, Chef. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, no worries. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too, Chef. Oh, but Chef, I had a question. Yeah, Since of like, course. Okay, so I'm kind of doing the same as him, but mine is in the Netherlands. So uh -huh. did you want me yeah. to? Huh? Yeah, you can do it in different pricing if you'd like. Okay, I'm cool. Okay with that. Yeah. Because I kind of like realized it towards the end when I had finished the the costing out sheet that I should have might have like done it in the area of the Netherlands because you know how they like their free market and yeah. all that. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah. Just what what you can. I that would be cool for sure. Just using their currency and all of that. I think that would be awesome. Okay, thank you, Chef. You're welcome.
Have a nice day, Chef. Take care. Hey, you as well. Bye-bye. Thank you.